Drianna back with another Canva tutorial. Now, if you guys have been following me on social media, then you guys have noticed that this particular video has gone viral on TikTok. Um, I don't remember which exact banner it was, but I might as well give you guys a two for one special. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and recreate these two banners. So, the first thing that I do is go back to my homepage. And I'm going to click on create a design and this is a custom size that I personally use for my website banners. It is a 2000 pixels by 850 pixels and we're just going to jump right in. Now it does look a little bit big because I am designing on a iMac so it looks big so it just depends on which um, desktop, laptop, iPad, phone, whatever you're designing on, it depends on how big it'll actually look on the screen, but all of them fit perfectly for the websites that I've designed, which is Shopify and Wix. Um, I never had any problem with my banners being too small or too big for those particular platforms. So I do recommend using what size that you feel best, but these are just the sizes that's worked for me over the past um, couple of years that I've been designing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get those photos. Now I did get those photos directly from Canva and I have them inside of a little storage that I've labeled um, Canva photos. Just so I know what photos came from Canva. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to add all of the photos with the green lady. Um, so I'm going to scroll. Keep in mind that I might not use the same exact pictures that I've used in the, in the actual video, but everything else would be the exact same. So for these photos, a um, cool thing is you can go over here to info and you can go ahead and look at the information that is on these photos that you could probably find it through there. Now, also, like I said, these photos came from Petzl. So what you could do to make it easy for you, you could just find the name of that person and you can type in what their name is on Petzl.com and you might find it. So to test that theory out, I'm going to go ahead and try it myself just to show you guys. So I'm going to go to Petzl's and then I'm going to type in Ron, um, go back latch. And I am just going to go ahead and click on um, enter. Let's see, go to users and let's see if we find him. Because if we do, that'd be super cool. Um, they have so much photos on here. Yeah, you know, there's like an in infinite, infinite, infinite infinite scroll when it comes to pixels but that's just something that you can do or you can like play around with keywords on pixels let me see um glasses model i might not be able to find it i might not be able to find it so for the sake of this video I'm going to jump right back in to the design, but you can probably try this um, on your own time and see if you actually find it, but beautiful, like this, play, it's like basically play on words, I would always say. So let me add a second page just to go ahead and correlate the photos how I would want to. I believe there would be one more photo that I do have of her. So I'm just going to quickly grab that I did get these photos um they were from Canva but there was an ebook that I bought um but the person is no longer in business and they do not they do not sell the ebook so um yeah I wish they did because that would be more helpful um to you guys so first I'm gonna do because I'm gonna leave these photos down here and drag them as I need be so the first thing that I love to do once again is change the background. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to this green background. I'm liking the darker green more. And then on the first, let me show you guys the first banner. On the first banner, if you guys see like this little white, um, kind of like a little gradient thing, I'm going to show you how I got that. So go to elements and I'm going to type in blur. 
Now, I'm just going to get this white one because I don't need to change the color. So, um, as long as you want yours to have white, then you can just get this one. But if you need yours to change the color, then there's other ones that are readily available for your um, assistance. So, I'm just going to put this right here. And that's how I got that little faded look on one side, that gradient look on one side and not on the whole entire page. So now I'm going to take this image because this is one of the ones that I use. I'm going to go to edit image and I'm going to click on background remover. Now the background remover sometimes is take long and sometimes it moves really quick. But when it moves, it does exactly what it needs to do. Canva's background remover, I ain't going to lie, it's way better than Photoshop phones. I literally come on here sometimes to remove a background from a photo on Photoshop. Like, that's how much I love them. I'm just gonna go ahead and size it up some more. Then once I have it, I'm gonna take the second photo, click on edit image, background remover. And the reason why I designed the banners the way that I did is to showcase more of the photos than anything because these photos they speak volume they speak a thousand words and i felt like they deserve to be shown off so it might like you guys might think that the text that i use might be a little hard to read but the whole emphasis is to emphasize the beauty of the photos and the beauty of this green like she really pulled off this green so anyways on to my title I'm gonna go over to text we're gonna go ahead and add an image and I'm gonna type in the name that I put style by Kim I'm just gonna go ahead and put this uppercase and then I'm gonna change this color to white and I'm gonna use my telegraph medium I'm gonna go over to my spacing and space the letters out when it comes to spacing I love it like Ash the one of the best features that Canva could have did when they made the text is to add spacing. So now, now that I got that, I'm going to go ahead and type in the title, the latest. So for the font that I used for the latest, I used a font called Heading. Now, this font you can find on thefont.com for free. Um, but if you're going to type in numbers or whatever the case may be, or certain things that you need to get the paid version. And I got the paid version from Zeta Fonts, and it was about $116. Fonts are pretty expensive. So, yeah. Um, and I believe I used heavy, if I'm not mistaken, and I turned the letters up. So, I think, yeah, it was heavy that I used or extra bold. Nope, it was heavy. So, I'm going to size this. And I don't think that I use white. I think maybe I use like a cream-ish color. No, it was white. Nope, it was cream. <laughs> All right, so now that I got the latest, I'm just gonna go ahead and play around with them. Cause maybe they might be too big. Okay, the latest, put that right here. And now to my trick that I use. But first, I'm going to go ahead and do the trick. So I'm going to go ahead and take the photo that I want. I'm going to go to edit image. And I'm going to click on background remover once again to remove my background. Like I said, sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's fast. You can use another website called remove.bg. And those are way more faster than um, removing it within Canva. And they actually both have the same quality. And remove.bg is free. Remove background within Canva. You need to have the paid version. So I'm going to put that right there. And you guys are probably like, well, you're covering the um half of the word. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on position. I'm gonna go to layers and I'm gonna make sure that my title is above. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and actually move the title up a little bit and move her face right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the text and yeah, it's going to be smack dab over her. So now I'm going to go over to my effects and I'm going to click on hollow. 
And once I click on hollow, you can tell that you can kind of see it. But the hollow is super thick, janky, and it's very unlegible to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on thickness and I'm going to size the thickness down to about a two. And voila. And you literally just have to move her around. Like, how cool. How cool is that? I think that's very cool. So I'm just going to leave her right here. And once I got that, I'm going to just type in fashion seek and then I want to go ahead and add the same font uppercase size it up and put it here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and move it up just a little bit so I can go ahead and add in my other um, words that I have I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to click on square and I'm going to turn my square to the background color which is green but I also want to give my square an outline too so I'm going to come over here to where it says border style I'm going to type sorry not type I'm going to click on the line and that gives me the outline now I'm going to click on border color and to change the border color to that creamish color and then I'm just going to size it to my liking. So once I size it to my liking, right about here or so, I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate the title text, the business name I should say. And we're just going to type in shop our newest styles. And size this down and put this put this here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna size it up I'm gonna size it down just a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and take the rectangle and put it in the back and leave the font the text on the top and that is our first banner made in Canva. I absolutely went to no other platform as you guys can see to make this design in Canva. And when I say I haven't went to any other platform, I mean that I didn't have to go anywhere else for any type of elements. I necessarily didn't have to go anywhere for these photos also. I literally made this within Canva. The only thing I had to go for was the font it's just one that I imported but you can actually find similar fonts to that within Canva I just prefer to use the font that I like to use now on to the second banner which is pretty much the same exact thing except for one of the hollow text I did have to like flip it a couple times so same thing here I'm gonna go ahead and add that green background I'm going to go to elements and we're going to add that white blur and we're just going to put it over here. Like put it, I forgot where it was, put it here. So since most of the photos are something that I used, I did not use this one, but I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to go to edit image and I'm going to click on background remover. Like I said, the second banner is literally a repetitive of the first one, but we're still going to show it. So, I have my first photo, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add a text and I'm just gonna type in a book. So once I have that, I'm gonna go over to uh, my fonts and I'm gonna get heavy. Heading now, I meant, sorry. Heading now in heavy. And I'm just going to make this this side. Then we're just going to go ahead and size it up here. And I'm going to change the color to that color. So we got that. Let me size this. Let me move this over. And turn down the opacity. Because I forgot to do that. Okay. So now 
what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna duplicate the same thing and put her here. That image image and put her here. Okay, so right away here. Alright. Same thing with this image. I'm gonna duplicate her and add her right here. So a look. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. You need. I'm gonna go ahead and size that down. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. Alright, so basically we got the basis of it. But I want both of my girls to be showing. So, but I also want a see through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her, I'm gonna position her, I'm gonna move her to in front of a look. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a look and duplicate it just to be over it. Click effects, hollow, and then just make it hollow. I actually did not have to do an extra step. <laughs> Um, when I first did it, I did multiple, not multiple steps, but when I first designed it, I was a little bit confused, so then I had to like flip it. So the same thing with this one. We're going to go ahead and position it to the back, duplicate it, put it right on top, go over to effects, click on hollow, and turn it down to one, and you literally have this easy banner design within Canva. Like I said, my reasoning for designing it the way that I did was to showcase more of the green and the glasses to showcase more of the whole look. Uh, I really had emphasized on how important photos are and this is another reason why photos are so much important because when everybody seen this banner, they were just so amazed at the green they even forgot what the heck the text was saying. So, a very important tip when you guys are getting content done, please, please, please have very nice photos. But this is the two banners that I have made within Canva using these specific photos that came from Canva. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as TikTok did. But you guys already know, if you guys want to see more, turn on post notifications on my Instagram, Drana Design Studio. Turn on post notifications for my TikTok. Turn on post notifications for my YouTube. Any social media platform you see me on, turn on post notifications because I will be posting. Not only will I be posting tutorials, but I do post tutorials, hacks, tips, tricks, and other goodies that I do teach about Canva or I do speak about Canva. Or sometimes I just post really good hacks that I think that are very valuable to every business owner. So you guys should definitely turn on all post notifications. But until the next time, um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one.